Ladies and gentlemen, the year nine season one designer notes have finally come out and I just got nerfed twice. So let's read over the patch notes. We'll go up uh, top from the bottom. So here's like the win rates. You can see Ash, Finca, Dokabi, Buck, Ace. All operators I told you guys were top five. Console as well, pretty much the same people. Surprised people people aren't using Finca. Um, here is the con uh, console pick rate, pretty sure, right? Legion, Fenrir, Doc. So it's actually nothing too overpowered, which is really good for defense. Uh, console though, I think we'll look at what my ACOGs all the way up there. Uh, here's the ban rate on PC high lobbies. Still could be wow. Dokubi. She's definitely taken the comfort ban. I don't I don't think Dokubi is good on every single map sometimes, you know. Because this is how people play ranked, but Jackal seems to be very, very uh, up there. Fenrir on PC, P, you know. Wow, Valkyrie is just tanked. Holy crap. Really? Even though, wow. Valkyrie fell off hard. Message from the team. As observed in the bouncing matrix, there has been a significant increase in the presence of certain operators. However, despite this shift, their performance statistics do not raise in, do not raise any immediate concerns. Consequently, we have decided not to make any adjustments to the site's distribution in this patch. So no ACOG taken away, you know. RIP, can we get an F in the chat for my boy Mozzie? My boy Mozzie, uh He got his he got his ACOG taken away. Unfortunate. It is essential to recognize the graphs presented reflect only a small segment of the ranked player base. So they're basically saying a lot of this is only like the top, top, top ranks. They're not going to change too much. Below those ranks across broader player community, the presence of these operators is considerably, considerably lower. Their presence was higher at the beginning of the season and gradually declined to the numbers you see right now. This downward trend suggests that these operator choices are driven more by novelty than overwhelming strength we observed similar patterns during the 1.5 era and based on the tests conducted over the past year we prefer a cautious approach rather than an immediate reaction because the system is still too new we believe maintaining the current distribution throughout the entire season won't compromise the overall balance so basically they don't want to make any impulse changes additionally prematurely Removing the, these operators could prompt players to swiftly switch to the next operator equipped with magnifying scope. Good, they're aware. Gets passed around more than Logan Paul's wife. Such a, a shift might adversely impact the balance of other operators that have not received as much attention and are currently in a good position. Hasty removal would not allow sufficient time to thoroughly evaluate all the pros and cons of the new sites. Especially considering the nostalgia and novelty of influencing decisions. Yeesh. Broadly, thank you for the three months in advance. Death Stranding, thanks for the prime. All right, well, here's the first balance right here. So basically, all we know is that they don't want to make an impulse change. All right, well, Azami increased the damage. So, as you guys can read, but basically, handguns like revolvers of uh, the Deagle, Deimos Vendetta, Keratos, my LFP, I think that's the, the revolver. But yeah, revolvers do more damage. Like basically, every gun, submachine gun, assault rifles, like, like almost every gun does it. If you really want to go in the details, you can read yourself, but we all know this. A zombie overall just got a 10% nerf from all guns. Yeah, they basically see that, like, it's good that we can break bears with the zombie, but it's not... We can't spend too much of the round shooting them, so that's why they, uh, they're they taking it away. LMGs have done a great job, though. If we're going up against the zombie, Finca is a hard counter to me, because she just has unlimited bullets. Okay, Ayana has impact EMP grenades, and they remove stun grenades. Ooh. Okay. I think this is a good change. Wow, grenades and EMPs. I think Sludge is the only opera that has that, right? And Knock? I don't think Knock has grenades. Wow. Well, 
Ayana with EMPs and a Gon 6 is going to be very strong. No, they nerfed me. Legion's Goo Mine will be reduced to 3 HP from 5 HP for the initial damage. And it basically takes 25 seconds for another Goo to recharge. This is kind of... To be fair, though, Legion has had a very high pick rate. So they're just trying to do whatever they can to nerf him. And they removed impact grenades. Yo, can we get an F in the chat for me, bro? They removed my impact grenades for observation blockers. Wow. I think this just made Legion a little bit... His uh, quality of life was just too... Too easy. But he has a second... He has a, the uh, super shorty. So rotates won't be that big of a problem. Yeah, the since the since the removal of cloaking from his goo mines, we've observed positive changes in his performance. Despite the uncloaked mines, the number of mines triggered per round has remained relatively stable, resulting in higher average damage than initially anticipated. So they they basically nerfed him once, and he's like, "Oh shit, he's still really strong." You know what? Why don't we take away Legion's gun? We want to make him the peacekeeper and uh, handshake his enemies to death. Or maybe we'll even just give him a pool noodle just to make it so uh, there's no more violence. Because uh, violence is not the answer. Only peace. Uh, Yeah, so basically that's... uh, Yeah, they just see like Legion is very strong for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah you guys think they should give him the, the beepers instead of observation blocker? Observation blocker is basically... Uh, a slap in the face like you're really strong let's just give you a very useless overpowered get our underpowered gadget so yeah they're, they're trying to they're trying to there's nerfing my boy all right so they want knock to become stronger but they realized we gave her an acog people still aren't playing her she still has frag grenades but you can't cook them anymore and we took away her silent step so, we want players, we want to buff the weakest part of Nock, which is her ability right now. She's only immune to cameras. Literally, that's it. Uh, so, she's just very situational. I wouldn't say she's necessarily bad right now. It's just... I mean, default cams get shot immediately anyways. Bulletproof cameras, maybe. But you're basically just like a fucking... You're just like, you're just an ash at that point. Oryx. Oryx will now be able to dash through shields. The dash is not interrupted. So the next time I see uh, an or Osa, you know, I'm uh I'm tackling her like a like a football um quarterback. Well Yeah, I don't play Oryx at all that much. Oryx is this thing ability a ability to pass through acute barriers and reinforce barricades. Huh? Reinforced barricades. I'm assuming, assuming regular barricades, right? Yeah. Okay. No longer impede. Uh, okay. Sense. Okay, they gave sense four projectors instead of three. It's not like his utility was that useful in the first place. But yeah, let's give him four. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know what, man? They should make sense. So his his gadgets like bulletproof walls. So that way you just can't shoot through them, right? Would that be too OP? <laughs> no, they nerfed impact grenades. That's eh, actually not that bad. So they reduced the radius and they reduced the damage a little bit. This is really huge. Because this means a lot of impact tricking is no longer going to work anymore. The first thing that comes to my head is theme park. Theme Park Throne. Impact tricking is going to be a little bit trickier. Alright, so yeah, all these operators still have... The only person who doesn't have impact is even more lesion. They buffed impact grenades? What are we talking about? They nerfed it, bro. Damage reduced. Radius reduced. Um, basically they see that impact grenades are more for rotate. I don't know, dude, like, bro, 
We are not in year one anymore. Impact grenades you need to be used more for rotations and clearing attacker utility. Yeah, but I mean, like, we can use it to impact trick too. And people see that their killing potential is, uh, people were just basically using them as Pokeballs and finishing off enemies faster. Uh, like an RPG, basically. Double impacting enemy will no longer result in an immediate kill. All right. Cool. Ballistic shield, guard break, explosion. Trigger threshold reduce a 30 damage. Huh? I'm assuming this is just from explosions. All right, well, I don't play shields anyways. Well, those are all of the notes. Well, all right, well, initially... I think the biggest change we'll take away from this is definitely impact grenades. Um, Legion losing his impacts. I mean, it's like Capkin losing his impacts. I mean, he has a super shorty. Not that big of a deal. Um, a zombie's nerf. She's probably going to be a little bit weaker now. I mean, 10% damage is actually like, I actually think it's going to be a lot. So I definitely can't do my domain expansions with zombie too comfortably now. So I'm assuming it's going to take at least like a mag, one mag to break an entire uh, Akiba barrier, maybe a mag and a half. What do y'all think? WRL changes so far. Uh, Ayana, I mean, I mean, EMP grenades on Ayana. It'll help because that way you don't have to be like, yo, can we bring an Osa? Can we bring a Grim? Can we bring a Dokabi? You know, you don't have to ask those operators. You can just have Ayana do it. <clears throat> Max, thank you for the sub. But yeah, man, I mean, Legion, I don't know, bro. Nerfing his goo mines? Initial damage. Knock, I don't think Knock's going to be any different, bro. Doesn't matter if her, her thing is increased. They, it's just, she's just, she's in a tough spot right now. Very under, under, underutilized. Oryx dash, this might be helpful, but I mean, the second Osha comes down, she's getting like five impacts thrown on her in a C4. Sending whole ass Thanos nuke. Sense, I don't know, bro. This was kind of an unnecessary change. They, like, giving sense more is not really going to do much, but I want to actually read what the reason behind, despite the numerous improvements to the POF. The additional utility that brings sense continues to underperform. We acknowledge the intricacy and skill required to use the RDPR are effectively. The unpredictability of bounces can sometimes work against you. That is true. I hope the we hope all the new trajectory visualization can uh, can help to improve accuracy. But we are going to allocate additional resources to enhance flexibility and provide more opportunities and error correction while we keep investigating okay so they want to keep they want to keep uh changing sense so sense his gadget is like yeah it's unpredictable will i watch spirit away in theaters they didn't already pass already bro but if it if i if it does come to a theaters near me i'm definitely going to watch it uh let's see but i want to watch more of the studio ghibli uh movies before i go to japan so Probably on the plane. The plane ride's at least like a 12-hour plane ride. So I can I can you know, pump out a few movies on the plane. If you guys have any recommend it, uh, recommended um, Studio Ghibli movies, please let me know. I think I'll start with the the big fluffy dude. The the, the big gray bear. I'll be going in, in August. Yeah, honestly, I never got it down. Studio Ghibli, Studio Ghibli. I think it's Ghibli. Am I going to 2v5 with Snappy? Is he down right now? I Hopefully it didn't ruin your day with these patch notes. These patch notes weren't that bad. I honestly don't see that big of a difference besides Zombie and the confusion of Legion. But everyone else's impact grenades are... I have to see how they're going to play out. Two to three meters. Like I said, like I'm thinking of theme park. When I chuck it over to the throne and it doesn't kill a thermite... 
Yo, I swear to God, if impact grenades don't destroy thermite charges, that's going to be a big issue.